that was my main main concern when i wanted to add this piece into my collection hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is may also known as mrs leva and today we have a good old-fashioned what's in my bag if you saw my latest unboxing <laughs> i have finally been able to add the Birkin 25 into my collection after nine hard months she finally arrived and I, I still like lose my words every time that I'm going to talk about her but I do have a, a q and a video coming up I want to say this video is going to be up before that one I have a Q&A coming up with CC from Girl Gone Lux here on YouTube and she's actually interested in starting her own Hermes journey. So we're gonna talk about my process, how it is that I saved up for the bag, when I would go into stores to shop, any other random question that might come up during this whole like Hermes process. I started my Hermes journey and also documented it here for you guys to kind of have a feel of what the process is like. And if there's one thing that I learned from it is that it is not black and white for anybody every single Hermes journey or process or whatever it is that you want to call it is different for every single person. However, being able to do the process on my own, I obviously have my own sort of opinions and tips about it. So we are going to be discussing all of that. That live will be on March 3rd at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So if you are watching this video after that date, then I think we are going to have the video to be able to upload it on our channels as well so I'll have a link down below in case you wanted to just hear my process what her questions are kind of like what she's thinking about doing to start her process and so on and so forth so now that we have that introduction out of the way let's get into this little cutie I went ahead and switched up the twilly as you can see I just kind of tied it around like one going the other way if that makes any sense and then I just did a little bow here at the end before getting to the what's inside or how I pack my bag I did want to touch base on the handles really quick that was my main main concern when I wanted to add this piece into my collection I didn't really have anybody that owned or I didn't have anybody, period, that owned a Birkin 25, let alone a Birkin, but just a 25, which was what I was interested in close to me. So I really couldn't play around with the bag and the handles the way that I wanted to. And I know I could have gone to like a pre-loved um, store, which I did visit a couple boutiques and I was able to kind of like handhold it and see the size. But I still couldn't like really play around with it, like open it the way that I knew I wanted to style my bag and be able to put it in the crook of my arm. However, I did try it on the crook of my arm and I felt, okay, I can manage, you know, with the way that it slides into the crook of my arm. This is just going to be like a quick comparison, but I have my um, Celine Nano. And this one, like I struggle to get on my wrist pretty much because it doesn't go any deeper than that. But if I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my wrist, like I have to wiggle it in there and this is as far as she will go. So that's pretty much it. And even like I can't like just take her out, you know, like that when I want to like remove her from my arm. I have to be very gentle and then, you know, take her out in order to hand hold her or whatever it is. For the Birkin, I have been so, so surprised. Like it ended up being the complete opposite. I did talk about it in my latest vlog, but she's just been so really easy to maneuver. So I have her handheld, da -da 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 -da, whatever I'm walking and I need to put her in the crook of my arm. Boop, she goes there perfect. Like it doesn't, it's not gonna go all the way to my shoulder, to my elbow, yeah, my elbow. <laughs> but she slides in a little bit more than the Celine. Still not crazy, but a little bit more if I needed to. But regardless, when I have like my bags in the crook of my arm, like this is how I use it just like this let me stand up so you guys can see so i just have her like this and she is so perfect i don't think i have the slimmest wrists like i know that there's people that have slimmer wrists than me but even if your wrists are a little bit thicker i still feel like you can get away with it if you wanted to carry her in the crook of your arm 
and then even to like slide out like it's so easy to just slide it out and carry her top handle again so i am so 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 grateful and so happy that that worked out i wanted to share with you guys that i ended up getting an organizer for it i did share that in the latest vlog that i uploaded just because i did feel like she was sagging a little bit without the organizer and ultimately i wasn't going to get one because i have a really good kind of like pouch system in place for my handbags but when i saw the sagging i low-key freaked out and i was like okay i need to get an organizer for her and i really liked it so i ended up going for this one here and it is from dgaz i am going to see if i can get a discount code for you guys if i do i'll link it down below alongside the organizer i actually have an organizer for my picatin from the same brand they initially reached out to me for the picatin and they gifted me that one but this one i went ahead and bought with my own money and it is totally worth it it is made of 100 percent silk this video is not sponsored by the way i just wanted to share the details with you so it is 100% silk and I love all the little pockets that it has around in order to keep yourself well organized. So I went with the gold color. I thought about going with maybe a pop of color, but this color is absolutely beautiful. So I just felt like pairing the organizer with it would be kind of like the right thing to do. So yeah, I went ahead and got that one. There is a big pocket right here. Then you do have three little slip pockets in the interior. You have two on the side and then two on the back. And then outside you have an additional two other pockets here. So a lot of kind of like pockets for you to keep yourself organized. I will maintain my kind of like pouch system that I have going, but you will see how it is that I use the other little pockets around. So let's see how we can do this so you guys can still see the baby, but at the same time we can get some work done. So maybe she'll stay there. Let's see. Let's move here. Now I do have most of my things already in their pouches, but I am planning to move to switch wallets. So I'll go ahead and share that as well. Hopefully she doesn't fall from there because if she falls, I think I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> All right, so let's start off with the first pouch that I have, and that is going to be my a Toiletry 15 from Louis Vuitton. I was using my mini pochette, but I actually went to the gym this week and I switched out a couple of things, so I ended up going into this one. And I just go back and forth between those two pouches. If you have caught a what's in my bag video before, a lot of the things in here haven't changed, unfortunately. I'm very basic or consistent with the items that I carry. So I do have this little tiny pill box and then I have a little floss. I have some hair ties. I have hair clips, no, bobby pins. There we go in there as well. This is for whenever my eyes get dry. I have a cuticle balm, which I choose over the cuticle oil whenever I'm out and about. So whenever I'm home, I do apply cuticle oil one to two times a day. But when I'm out and my cuticles start getting dry, I prefer the balm just because the oil kind of gets all over the place. I ordered, what did I order? Oh, like an organizer for my bathroom. And it came with this free little mirror. I thought it was so cute. It's very, very slim. So I'm just using that to have it inside of there in case I were to need it. I have some panty liners. And then I also have a comb <laughs> and then a thin little nail file last but not least i have one of these which is basically to hold your bags if you don't have a place to set it on you can just set it on the table and then your bag hands from here i love these little things and i love to take them with me whether i'm traveling or whether i'm here in my hometown whatever the case is i just like to have them in my bag because i obviously would not want to have my bag on the floor specifically nugget which if you missed the unboxing that's what we named her so you'll have to go back to the unboxing if you want to know why but that is her official name so that's all that we have in the toiletry 15. as i said i do want to switch out my wallet which i'm currently using the calvi duo i really like it you guys i feel like just the color is so so fun 
and the only complaint that i kind of have in regards to it is the fact that since it is the duo this here is technically like an additional pocket with an additional leather piece on it so it makes this side a little bit more bulky therefore whenever i use this piece i do like to try to minimize the amount of cards that i put inside not to make it feel so bulky so i was using these two together and then in here, I just had any additional card that I needed. In here, I just have my ID. I have my credit card, which I use for everything. I surprisingly still have the $2, which I had when I unboxed this piece in here. I'm telling you, I never use cash. And then in the back pocket, what I have is my debit card. I have our car keys and that's it there. And then in this little pocket, I have just like tiny cute little things or just memorable things that I carry with me so just a few little goodies there and I like to keep those in my wallet because I kind of like to have them like close to me so yeah that's that so that's it for this one as I said we will be switching out and I wanted to switch into the Kelly compact pocket wallet oh I don't want to move her because I feel like she's so perfectly sat but we need to little matchy matchy mommy and daughter moment how stinking cute now this is togo leather this is um i blanked epson so you can tell sort of how different the color gold is on both of these leathers and it's funny because i ultimately thought that i would want the kelly 25 cellier in gold but as i'm doing more and more research i'm thinking surprise I'm thinking I'm going to go the black route. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I have mentioned this before, but I'm not going to have a huge like Birkin and Kelly handbag collection. My future plans just, it doesn't make sense for what my husband and I want to do in the long run. Hold on a second. So hopefully she's good there. So yeah, I, I don't plan on having like a crazy Birkin and Kelly collection. I'm just happy being able to own a Birkin and then a Kelly just because I am such a handbag lover and enthusiast that I feel like those two pieces first are very classic and go very well with my personal style, but at the end will also last me for so, so many years. So yeah. Putting all that aside, I'm still considering what color I ultimately want to go for the Kelly and whether I want to do the Return or the Cellier or maybe possibly both. I don't know, but I feel like that would be it for my Hermes handbag collection career at that point. So we're going to go ahead and switch into this one. As I said, this is the Kelly Pocket Compact Wallet, whatever the name is so, so long. And I love this wallet because I don't carry a lot of cash. So for me, this particular wallet is perfect for what I carry. It's very similar to the um, Louis Vuitton Rosalie. I feel like the styles are very similar in that sense. Even though I do like that the Rosalie has a little bit more um, card slots for you to be able to keep yourself organized. So what I just do is that my credit card of choice, which is this one here, I slide it into this little part of the wallet and then she just stays there kind of like this. Hopefully you guys can see her. So it's very easy for me to just go ahead and get her out whenever I need to pay anything and then be able to slide her back in there. And then we're gonna put everything else in the big compartment of the wallet. Now what I do is those little kind of like memory cards and things like that that I do have, I put them in the zipper pocket in the back because I don't carry coins. And even if I did, I don't think I would put them in this wallet just because I know that the coin residue will kind of like dirty the leather over time so we're just gonna go ahead and put those in there also how cute is that little lock that this one has so so cute and then i'm obsessed with the kelly kind of like closure so wallet is all set we're gonna go ahead and put her in the organizer next thing i'm carrying which i'll put lace in one of the little pockets from the organizer is this hand cream i'm gonna go ahead and put that on this side of the organizer here so we have our toiletry 15 and our wallet so far. And then we have the cream on that side. Next up is going to be, of course, some wipes. You guys know I don't go anywhere without wipes. 
and I love these packets in particular because they're very slim so I can put them in any of my handbags unless I'm carrying my Polen Micro obviously it won't fit in there but any other handbag these fit in there perfectly fine and then I am going to put my sunglasses these are the sunglasses that I was carrying they are in a key Australia case but they are from Amazon super inexpensive I love these they're very oversized they're polarized $15 I've mentioned it before on my Instagram but I just added these which are very Celine inspired they have no logos but I love the style of those Celine glasses and as soon as I saw that Amazon kind of had an inspired option I mean how cute are these super super fun I think like with a pulled back pony they'll look so so chic so yeah I wanted to grab these and I just think that they're so cute I'm gonna go ahead and put them in this exact case even though I can probably do a slimmer case, but this one fits inside the organizer really well. This is what we're working with so far. Okay, and then last but not least, let's move on to some lip products. I do have these two. This is my Hermes um, Lip Enhancer, I think it's what it's called, in Rose Confetti. Now, I do like the tint that this one leaves on my lips, and it is a little bit moisturizing. I do have to reapply it like every 30 to 45 minutes. I always leave like my sort of reviews on these sort of products over on my Instagram, which I'll go ahead and leave my new Instagram handle in case you guys missed it. My previous one got deactivated so I did kind of have to start from scratch and then the second one is this one from Naturium this one was a brand that Instagram ads got me from I ordered the lip mask which is the one that I use at night and then I added this lip balm the lip mask I love I love so much that I can probably say I like it more than my Laneige sleeping mask and that is saying a lot because I love the Laneige sleeping mask but that one is like a little bit softer and when you wake up your lips feel like they've been so hydrated and so moisturized but they're not sticky whereas the Laneige sleeping mask kind of leaves like that sticky residue even after you wake up the next morning. I hope that makes sense. Now the lip balm, I'm not crazy about you guys. I definitely don't love it. The consistency is very, very thick. It's also not moisturizing once it's gone and I'm just using it just to get it over with and throw it out, but definitely will not be repurchasing these. But just wanted to give you my honest opinion in regards to that. So these two, I'll go ahead and place them in that little same slip pocket as the cream and then the other one I'll put it in another slip pocket and that is one of the things that I've really learned to love about the organizers is that those other little pockets give me room to add certain things that maybe didn't fit in my pouches but then I don't need to get another pouch just to add two or three things inside so that's something that I've really learned to love about the organizers and then last but not least the thing that I carry is my phone so I can go ahead and place that anywhere in the organizer and she slides right in so here we have everything now you will see how like the glasses will kind of pop up a little bit just because actually they don't they can actually fit right there perfect okay so let's do this here let's bring out Nugget for her special appearance and then I do like to open up the bag in order to be able to slide the organizer more comfortably. Let me hold her and see if I can bring the bag up so you guys can see it here. But I just go ahead and shimmy her in there. And there she is. So here we have her. As you can see, even like the sagging is completely gone as to where if I was using the products without the organizer, you can definitely see that the leather would kind of sag a little bit more. So there is everything that I need. Is it heavy? Not for me because I carry these things in all of my other handbags, but I could see how it could become heavy, especially as a over like handle sort of, you know, handbag. But I love having the organizer inside. I feel like not only does it keep me very organized, but it also really helps with the interior of the handbag. This is an all leather bag. So even the interior is leather lined 
and I feel like if I just have random things roaming around it can ultimately hurt the leather long term specifically this wallet I did mention this when I did the review but this little clasp here let me show you the Kelly clasp right there like that can tend to like lean against leather and just you know kind of rub against things so if I have it just inside without anything, it can definitely rub against the leather. So what I do is that I put it inside. So I go ahead and face it inward just so that it has no room to kind of poke at the leather also. So this is what my little cutie looks like. She is so perfect, you guys. I can't get enough. Like I really want to try and use another bag, but it's been too, too long. I feel like a brand new mom with her baby taking like pictures and always wanting to like dress up their baby and things like that. This is my baby, you guys. So that is it for this little what's in my bag. Let me know if you have any questions in regards to the piece. I didn't want to get into too, too much details in regards to my journey and so on and so forth. Because as I said, we do have that other video coming up, which I'll make sure to link down below if it is live already. If not, I hope to catch you guys during the live. It is on May 3rd at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And hopefully we can chat a little bit more over there. As always, I appreciate you guys taking some time out of your day to join me today and I hope to catch you all in my next one. Bye everyone!